past broadcast. Are we live? Oh. We should be. What is going on? The broadcast is live. We oh wait, wait hang on. Yeah, we're, we're live. Right, a bit of confusion, but welcome wait. to EU2 again. Me and Agus Reflux, but this time I'm not asleep, so that's always a bonus. But yeah, we started so successful. we did. We started as we mean to go on. Who is closest to the end? At the minute, let's get. Okay. It looks as though it's an Alpine. I think it's just Perra. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go on board with Perra, who is got Rack Van Zeten of the Mercedes right in his rear mirrors. Does he? Goes around the final corner now, high revving. So we head down for the first lap in the U2 in qualifying. This will be the banker lap that everyone has to beat. Very nicely tucked away through the corners, and he runs off, and it's not an invalidation. I invalidated for that yesterday on um, Monday, so not too pleased about that one. Because it's purple first sector, but can it be beaten by Rackvan? He has invalidated, so let's stay on board with this reserve driver in a U2 Alpine. What can just Perra do on this lap? It is a 128.8, so it is a good lap from just Perra. Who will be the next to cross the line? It looks as though it will be Geordi who's come to the pits. I think it is Luke Prentice is on a lap. Next one, let's go to Vamu, who is on a lap. you're going to do, Vanu crosses the line now, that's a 128.7, he's a 10th up. He's already beaten the EU3, he's a 128.8 for the EU3 pole time. Cornish Cuck is on the time at the moment. Not too bad, I don't think it's good enough to pole, but... Who can we go on board with? Um, Cornish Cup comes to the line. Goes P4. Rack is on our lap. Let's watch the man in the Mercedes now as he comes down towards the corner and he's not very close. And Rack's had to back out. Who was that? Was that just Perra? It was. He did not think to get out of the way at all there. Jack Prentice is on the lap now. It's a game of keep it out the wall at this circuit. 
That was found out last so night. Personal I best for Jack Prentice, but it's his first lap, so not relevant at this time. Cornish Matters has retired. And that is a that that is where we'll see quite a few incidents today. Dropped it. Yeah, it's dropped it on the curb. He must have beached it. It's Jack Prentice now dives to the line. It's going to be a one third twenty nine nine. Very close to one thirty. So Fodes. he'll be definitely doing better than that. The to the line now. It's going to be a one minute twenty nine point one. Puts him P four. Again, that's probably a banker. Let's go down to Lopez now, who's on a lap. He is coming round towards, I don't know the corner numbers at this circuit. I try and no. pretend I know them uh, elsewhere. He's a little, little tap on the wall. I don't know about his connection. It seems a little bit jittery, but we'll have to see. As he sets personal best. I don't know if he's done a lap before. No, he hasn't. This is his first lap, so... Again, it makes no difference. People on the lap at the moment. Lopez now, round towards the final corner. Can he keep it out of the wall? He can, it's nice. Very clean on the exit. To cross the line, it's going to be a 1 minute 29, 30 point, 31 dead. So he can probably, he's probably thinking of going faster than that. I'd presume. Man to watch out for today, Cornish Cook. Again, he had a blinding Bahrain Grand Prix. Rosa now on the lap. Just started. Is there anyone further? Charlie. He's a little bit up the road. What about Geordie? He is on a lap. Coming down now towards Mick Schumacher's and Charlie Clare's most hated corner. Doesn't invalidate through sector one, so that's good for him. That is good. Oh, he's a 32.5. That's up there with whole time. That is. That is, and now as we have the drive to the line for Geordie, what's this lap going to be? It's going to be a one minute 28.8. That's P2 for the man Hello, reserving Hilly. in the Williams. How are you doing, Hilly? Hilly's always on the stream. Of course he is. He's always Love there. Hilly. Supporting 28.5, fastest of anyone. It is. He is on for pole at the moment if he can keep it clean. One more important turn to get ready. Power out of the line. Well done through the final corner. I don't get that strategy. Is that a glitch or are they literally high revving it? It's going to be a 1 minute 28.75. Might, might be, but wow. that is 19 thousandths of a second. I think he's going again on that. Electric blades on Unless that. Unless he is. I don't know. Nah, he went to Not with that speed. Geordie seems to be going pretty quick. Actually, place the line. There's a yellow, Just and it up. is for the. I think it is for Jack King. Yeah, he's just invalidated, and he has no front wing. And he needs think. to get out of the way of Rack, because Rack has. is he's on stopped a on flyer at the moment. Two he tenths is. down in the middle. He's gone board with Rack. He's looking about P4. Oh, Geordie, stick it there. Nice. Oh, should, I, should I take control of Sebastian Vettel's in touch? As Rack now, round the final corner, keeps it out of the wall. Some drive to the line, do, one minute, it's gonna be a 1 minute 28, oh, 29 dead. P6, just behind the Ferrari of Ramon. Again, not a great final sector. Cornish Cook is on an outlap, this man. He's on a mission today, I think. He is on a mission. After that victory, for a lot of people, it'll just be survive. Just make it to the it's end. It's the way to go. Let's see Vamu. He has invalidated his lap. But he looks to be on going on to another lap. The man who is very fast is Vamu. 
Yeah. Let's go on board. Where's Jammy James? He has Seems not put like in a he's... lap yet. No. He's on a lap though. He's going, he's going slow though. He's four seconds down in the first sector. Yeah. He'll be going on to his lap now, I would imagine. Luke Prentiss on a lap. 39 from off. sector 2. From sector 1, sorry. Not quick enough. About four tenths down on the pole setter. Ooh, fastest on. lap for Ramon Scaper. Let's go over to hit fastest first sector of anyone from Ramon. Hmm. He does have the fastest first sector. Ooh. There's a yellow. Profote is three tenths up on his time right now. He is. Let's the go down to middle the middle sector. Right. Oh, he's three tenths up. It's a 32.613. It is a personal best by three tenths. You can keep this three tenths up. He'll be sitting around P3 he if he can nail it. P3. Oh. Can you nail this? 25, 26, 27. Profos crosses the line. It's the pole lap. Oh, wow. The Rebels have locked out the front row with six uh, minutes to go. Third sector. Wow. That was a dream final sector for the... Man in the red Charlie. Ball. Charlie's on a lap. Let's go on board good with Cornish sector. Cook. Because he is also on a lap and I've been... I want to spy on him and see what he's got to offer. As he rounds the final corner now. Cornish Cook drive to the line. It's going to be a 29-1. It's not faster. It is faster than his old time. He'll want to be going faster than that, the man in the McLaren. Charlie's the interesting one now. Not a bad middle sector. Geordie is now six one hundredths down on himself. I don't Charlie's know if he just had a little spin and Geordie's lost it and he's in the wall and that's there is his qualifying over. Ooh. His lap isn't terrible though. He won't obviously you'll be annoyed of crashing out in qualifying, but Nonetheless, he sat on the second row of the grid. Rosa is on a lap. Let's go on. Let's let's watch her out. Let's watch a lap with the McLaren driver who's currently sat in P3. He rounds the corner just before the end of sector one. It's a 32.5. He's down on himself. He's down on himself. It's it's, a, it's very close. It's it very is. close. I mean, it's all in that final sector for him. He's quick over the first two compared to the Red Bulls. He is. He's got the fastest sector him. two. So will he be down on his own time as we enter? He is up two tenths. Down Ooh. two tenths, should I say? Ooh. He needs to have a lightning third sector here. He needs to nail the final corner. Because two he tenths be down will not help. Too. He might box and go out again. Never know. He's going. Oh, and he boxes. He he's is. clearly not going fast. Anybody in uh, Whoa, 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 whoa. Jamie James has done a 32 1 in the first sector. That is four tenths faster than anyone. Oh my god. We're not about to see him just whack it on pole in one lap, are we? The man who hasn't set a single lap in this qualifying, it's a purple sector. It's a it's personal purple sector two as well. Purple sector two. This is looking promising. I think the boys here are going to be in for a big shock when this comes across the line. As Jammy James rounds this final corner now, we just got to keep it out of the wall, just like Max Verstappen did not Whoa. do. Very close to the wall, he powers down to the line. It's going to be a 1 minute 28 dead. Jeez. Six tenths up on anybody else. That is a lap and a half Rapping from the man that had time. If he can get this final corner right, he'll jump a fair amount of positions, I think. 
I don't know what the lap times were like in EU4, you know. I'm pretty sure they were not bad. I'm sure they were, like, <laughs> high 28s, but... P6 is about... Geordi, I think, was pole yesterday. Rag jumps to 5th. What does Electric Blade do? Because he's on a good, good lap here. Not a great middle sector. Anywhere near the front row. Bad P9. P9 for Electric Blaze, but it's not terrible. It's a lap at the end of the day. It's a lap. It is. And everyone pretty much on outlaps, bar Rack, who has invalidated already, just at the end of Sector 1. A lot of places to invalidate before Sector 1 even finishes, which is hard for a lot of drivers, because then you've got a kind of 29 flat. Yeah, it's not bad for EU4 compared to EU3. Well, would have got you about tenth there. <laughs> but it's a my, lot of races. I know my quality time is P2 right now. My quality time is Ooh. P2. Here, no, I mean my time trial time. Sorry, it's P2 right now. Time trial. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be three tenths up on Profodes, three tenths down on Jamie James, but there's no way I'm pulling that out in quality. <laughs> no chance. Prentice can do. On board with my fellow Ferrari, his first race of the season, Ramon's gave up. So yellow, um, it is for a Haas, who is going relatively slowly. That's electric blades with no fuel, or just going slowly, I don't know. He is. No, he's got no fuel left. Just have no fuel yet. Yeah. Ramon now powers down towards the end of sector two, and he is one tenth down on himself. He's one tenth, one tenth up. Sorry, and he's lost it. I spoke too soon. He was a tenth up on himself. He was brilliantly. He was on for about P3. He could have had a 10th up and stuck himself P3. But now, no, as we have no time left in qualifying, that is P8 for one Ferrari, and Camping Ducks is the second Ferrari. Now he's going to power down to the final corner. What can Camping Ducks do? I don't think this is pretty fast anyway. I don't think this is going to be. He's going to get the toe off his teammate. Camping Ducks is four tenths up. He oh, is, but he had an incident is. with Ramon there. He went to the outside. He, if he'd have stayed to the inside, he might have gained half a tenth on that. Charlie's faster. Charlie is faster, and it's a 128.615. Oh. He's going to P2. Bamu coming to the line, though. He's looking good. He might be able to take that back. It's pole. No, it's not. 28.2. My thing glitched and said 27.912. Oh, oh, he's got about a bit of scream. He's got Paul Rosa has retired in the pit lane. With an Alpine. Just prefers to the line. Kelsey Swagger is out. And that's it. I think that's it. What have I done? Has Jamie James on pole for the third week running. I think. Or did Cook get it last week? Surprised no, to see Cornish down. Did. Surprised to see Cornish down in P13. I, must say. I know that he doesn't. He's not a big fan of the track, but he knows it's an endurance race. This one. If he can get to the end, that's what he's happy with. I think a lot of drivers will be the same. I think they will. So that's it. We have Jamie James on pole, Red Bull of Vamu in P3, and the sister Red Bull. Alpha Tower of Charlie in P3. Top 10, we have Profodes, Rosa, Rack, Geordi, Pera, Ramonscaper, and Electric Blades. And further down the order, we have Camping Ducks, Kelster Swag, Cornish Cook, both apprentices together, separated by three tenths. Jack King, Lopez, and Cornish Mantis didn't set a lap, so he will start from the back of the grid. Next time race, we have. 
Interesting. Vamu used four sets of soft tyres. Ooh. So... so did Rosa. Everyone else used three. Bar Kelster's wag who used two and Cornish who used one. But he did crash Mantis. Oh, Mantis. Yeah. Well, I'm guessing that Vam the ones who use four lap, four tyres, are just going to try the medium hards. Now, you're going to try medium hard, but if it comes down to the end of the race and they can't get scrubbed mm -hmm. softs, might be an issue. And he's gone for Jamie James for Foden, Raymond, Nova Moo. I like the Remon prediction. No Charlie. I'm going to say... He's an outsider, but he was quick. Yeah, we'll get the predictions down, whoever's actually watching. Nova Levin on there. I think, I think this could be... I think you could have someone from the back of the grid. Yeah, in. I'm going to go with... Because Luke Prentice jumped on the podium last week. Mm -hmm. So that was something out of uh, his qualifying position anyway. I think it was like P9. Exactly. Uh, the, so it was it Austin jumped 16 places? Yeah, Austin started at the back of the oh, grid. That's... Austin started at the back of the grid in Bahrain. So exactly. it, anything, any, anything can happen. We've got Profode, Jamie and Luke Prentice. Prentice. That's interesting. I'm going to go... With, it's hard. I'm gonna go with Remon to win the race, Ooh. Cook to finish second, and Jamie James to finish third. Ooh. Although Profodes is very much got probably one of the best race craft in mm. this. Uh, I was. Lobby. Gonna, I think I'm gonna go Jamie James Profodes. That final spot could be anyone's. I'm gonna, if if he can keep it clean, I will go for Rosa. Yeah, it's I not know his out. race car is good. It's if he can survive. If not, I, I like the I like the Raymond Skepper shout. Yeah, Ramon is he's got a good he's got good racecraft too. And he, he was quick in quality, just that, that final third sector. He what he, he did have it. he did have a purple middle sector and then beached himself on the curb and that was it. That, it's, it is it's tough, but you gotta you know, take these things on the chin right. sometimes. So now I think we have the lights on ahead of us. Five lights are on and it's lights out and away we go. For the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, it's a good start from Jamie James. Vamu also gets a good start. Jamie James covers the inside. Vamu goes round the outside Whoa, and makes a little a bit of contact damage. with Jamie James. What is happening at the middle of the grid? Profodes has gone all the way to the back. Manta. Profodes has gone all the way to the back. That's not good. Oh and no. I'm going to check Taz for this damage. Let's watch what's going Jay on. Jay Prentice Very has close. floor and sideboard damage. Ooh, Luke Prentice that now on the back of Camping Ducks, running down towards the end of Sector 1. He has got a good run. Camping Ducks is kind of moving slowly. So he's going to make Luke Prentice dive to the inside. Camping Ducks side by side. Luke Prentice has the better run out of the corner and gets into P9. Let's go up to the re to the race leader. Where's the race? And Jack King has spun, Ooh. just gone on. Race leader pulled out nine tenths of a second on R Vamu. There was an incident at the start where Vamu went around the outside. Charlie is close to Rosa now. Ooh, Raymond, so back over Charlie as well. He's made four positions up from the start. That shout for a Raymond win is looking better every turn. Let's check the damage. I'll go to Rack, who is on the back of just Perra now. There is 38% wing damage for Jack Prentice, 16% floor and 5% side pod, 28% wing damage for Cornish Cook in the McLaren. Not good. We have no damage anywhere else in the on the grid. What's the Jack warnings looking hit. like? 
We have two warnings for Jamie James already. Oh. And it's a three second oh, time penalty. Penny. Two laps in, not even, not even at the end of lap two, and Jamie James has picked up a time penalty. That's going to be tough. What tyres is? We've got oh Jamie James on the softs. Jamie James, Jordy, and Rack on softs. That's interesting. And Jamie James's softs are already at twelve percent after already one and a half laps. You have one warning for Rosa, two warnings for Mantis, and a warning for Jack King. But apart from that, no more. We have just witnessed a warning for Luke Prentice. So let's go on board with Rack now, as he is very close to the back of that Alpine car. As it runs wide, does Geordi. So that's going to allow Perry even closer to his teammate. Oh no, it's not the teammate. He's in the Williams, my fault. It's a bit of a DRS train from fourth. It is. Well. The front two are pulling third, away. Yeah, the front two are pulling away. Third is Lee. Rosa is leading the DRS train and it follows all the way down to Rack. Not close enough, Rat. Let's go down as Electric Blades is side by side Great. camping Ooh. duck, but camping duck just sweeps around the outside. The yellow. Oh, and it's reset to track for Charlie. Charlie. And that's the second race run in. Oh, He's reset to track on my screen. Oh. Oh, I don't like doing this. That has allowed Rosa just on his own a little bit at the moment. 1.7. It's just you know you don't do Either it. Side, you know yeah. you don't. Reset to track. Jack Brennan has pitted. I think that's for his front wing. Oh, has he got rear wing damage? I think. Wing right. Yeah, he's got right front wing damage. It's a long race if he can keep it. Jamie James out of DRS. Oh, Rosa span. Rosa has span now. Oh, and it is a really difficult one to call. What caused that? That was his own he just doing. Lost the rear. That was his own doing. Yeah. We have Cornish Mantis on the back of him now, but rosa has got enough pace to kind of scare Mantis a little bit, but oh Mantis has got by without any need to fight too much. He's gone with Vamu. He is driving a lonely race at the minute. He's out of DRS to Jamie James, and he is three and a half seconds away from the third place here, Jordy and the Williams. We have Rem on Scaper right on the back of Perra, but Perra does have DRS as well to help him along from Geordie. Oh, and Geordie's lost it. Oh. Geordie's lost it as I was on board with Rem on as he will now get a better run down and Perra. Skids along that curb. That's allowed. Rack even closer now to the Mercedes, to the Red uh, Ferrari, but the Ferrari is also right on the back of the Alpine. And Geordie is still at the same corner. Ramon's gone for the exit, and oh, oh no, Geordie's got rear wing. He's got six six percent rear wing. That should that will, that'll be his race over. That's well, exactly I had sixty six percent. I had it last yesterday, but I've managed just to stick it out and wait till everyone crashed. How I, I literally crashed. I literally kept spinning on every corner. I was so okay. I was a lap down easily. I couldn't move. I was just literally trying to get home. And now he's Ramon's kind of down. Oh, it's a three-second time penalty for Luke Prentice. Charlie all over the back of Kelsey Swag. As Rack now gets a good exit. Does get past. And Rack's very close to Remon. He's, he's, he could have made the lunge, but maybe didn't want to risk it. It's fair enough to him. As Rack is within DRS of Remon, but Remon's just dropped out. He's gone board with Profodes now, who is within a half a second of. Luke Prentice. 
Geordie yeah, has sure retired, and there will be a safety car, I am presuming. Oh, he's in, no, it's in the no, pit lane. No, in the pit, it's his rear wing. Yeah, it's in the pit lane, I thought there was a spin. For a uh, seems like the front two are just by themselves. They are. Five and a half seconds behind is Pera from Bamu. Remon's got back into the DRS. Rack slowly dropping. Camping Ducks at a DRS from the front and from the back. There's Remon tight to the wall. Has he got wing damage there? Mm. I don't know. I'll yeah, have to he's check. All good. He's all good. He was all good. That's a very, very lucky escape. Because he was tapping that wall. Lopez has front left wing damage. And Luke Prentice has front right wing damage. There's 3% on Jack King's Aston Martin. And 11% on Jack Prentice's. No damage for anyone else. There is four warnings for Jamie James now. There is two warnings for Mantis. One warning for Jack King. Two warnings for Jack Prentice. And one warning for Rosa. Now the softs are about 45% now, so they might might be starting to hurt a little bit. It might be. Jamie James is the man sitting. 1.6 seconds in the lead of this Grand Prix. And I presume this will be his box lap. Bamu is slightly getting closer. His tyres will be coming into performance, whereas Jamie James will be dropping out of that performance window. Hey, Camping Ducks is looking a good shout here. Camping Ducks? He, on the hards. He is hoping on an early safety car to not come his way. Mm. Will the Haas pit? He's now lost three tenths to Vamu. No, Vamu is Gazza. closer, Ooh. closer and closer. Camping Ducks is overtaken by Lopez. That's interesting. Jack Prentice picks up a three-second time penalty, and that is a penalty for both the Prentices now. Give me one second. Oh, kill swag all over the back of Charlie. Play this smart. Says that move we done later. But he does have L printers all over the back of him. And it has allowed Rosa to catch up. This fighting will not be helping any of them, but it is a big day RS train all the way from Lopez down. Sorry, from Camping Ducks all the way down now. To Rosa. Vamu is now within DRS of Jamie James. Does he pit this lap? His tyres on 55%. Rosa gets past Luke Prentice. With that slight wing damage, maybe hindering him. Charlie all over the back of Provodes. But we are looking at the move now within the DRS of Jamie James. And Jamie James in pits. Oh, and he gets a five second for speeding in the pits. No. Lopez on the back of Camp and Ducks. Straight line speed is just too much. Now we do have another soft runner in. Rack stays out on those softs though. So it seems like all the soft runners have pitted apart from Rack. Raymond still stuck behind Para. Para doing a good job of defending. Oh, he's 
still got a big deer exchange from Camp and Ducks down to Rosa. But Mantis on the back of El Prentice, doing a good job. But he does have Jammy James and fresh tyres come behind him. Can Lopez get past Camping Ducks? He is on the hards, but he's doing a good job. Raymond's still stuck. Does he get a good exit? Oh, Para looks like he nearly hit the wall. Could this be the run for Raymond? Does look, it looks like he might just be a bit too far back. He's going for it. He's going to go for the move. And he gets it done. Para's looking for the switch back though. Oh, and Raymond keeps his place. P2. Now he's past Para. Can he go and chase the move? Seven seconds is the lead. As Rack does pitch for some fresh mediums. Jamie James on his hard going to the end. And Preferred's on mediums as well. Where's he? Yeah, so Mercedes of Rack has span and he's got no front wing at all. Oh, fresh mediums. What have I missed? Cold Sorry mediums. About that. Rack has pitted and literally span. El Prentice has got no front wing Jamie either. James, P10. He has pitted. Yeah, I've Jamie was in his DRS, so. Ramon Cornish has got past Terra. Yes, he did. And he has caught for me by about four tenths this time. 10% wing damage on Lopez. 100% on Rack and Luke Prentice. Yes, I think they span coming out of the pits. I didn't see. That's not a way to do it, is it? <laughs> no. They will both be going into the pits again. Might give Jay Prentice a bit of a battle now, though. Raza. All over the back. I move Lopez. seven and a half seconds in the lead of this race now. Ramon got Pera oh. in his rear wing. Jamie James on those fresh hards is hunting down this pack. He's a man on a mission right now. Gets past Lopez with ease. As well as get past Kelso Swag. An orthodox place to do it. But they'll look in their radio mirrors and see the half of Jamie James bearing down on them. Are going a bit wide there, a bit squirrely. Oh, Jamie James going for a move on Kelsa Swag. Oh, the traction out. Kelsa Swag is not giving this up though. And Perry got past Raymond. Jamie James being frustrated by Kelso Swag. Frustrated. As Kelso Swag goes a bit deep. That might allow Jamie James to push forward. It does. Gets the better traction out. It's proposed to the fastest lap. Jamie James now all at the back of Rosa. Oh, has to lift off a bit. <laughs> Jamie James is hard on 12%. He is pushing them. But he needs to. But he is being frustrated by the cars with no grip in front of him. He makes the move. 
Well, it doesn't seem like he's giving it up, though. I think he'll have to concede. What else we got? Raymond to the back of Para. I think that'll be a theme for tonight. Oh, it's Electric Blaze, the first medium runner that goes into the pits. May seem a bit early. You can have to cut Rosa Pits as well. Struggling on those mediums. Oh, we do have a yellow, that's an alpha of El Prentice. Fresh softs, just clearly don't have the grip. Track is brutal. Oh, and Cornish Guts gets five seconds. J Prentice has 100% wing damage. This has not been a good lap for the Prentice brothers. But touch wood, no safety cars as of yet, which is very well done. Jamie James now again hunting down camping ducks. It is not. Oh, Jamie James has lost it. He's lost it. He's dropped it. Oh, and he's reset to track. Oh, no. Oh, we hate to see that. That was right on my screen. Sorry about that. I watched That's him right. reset straight to track. Yeah. Oh, so I caught that as well. Oh. That is not helping. A couple all. of resets tonight, Charlie and James. <sighs> but at the minute, like you said, we've had no safety cars, which is interesting. No. Quite. Charlie has picked. over half race distance now. Not one single safety car. It's not even a VSC. No, we. They're running good. Oh, oh, sector three. That's an Aston. That's Jack King. That is Jack King. He lost it, but no front wing at all. There's a lot of front wings going missing today, but no safety cars or DNFs. This is one DNF. Not even a joy. virtual. It's pretty impressive. Now, the two guys which I think are doing brilliantly at the moment are the two guys on the hard, all the hards, Camping Ducks and Mantas. Looking very good at the moment. Oh, the moves got slight front wing damage, only 3%. Should be fine. So could that be a sign he's not got the confidence in the car? Oh, Lopez picks up another three second penalty, that's his second. I'll show penalties for anyone that wants to see it. It's eight seconds for Jamie James, three seconds for Lopez, five seconds for Cornish, Cook, three seconds for Jack King, three seconds for both the Prentice brothers. As now Ramon Tape is looking right on the back of this Alpine's tail. And he's gone into the he's box, going he's going to go for the undercut. He's going to go for the undercut on this Alpine driver. Get, oh. Just gets in. Oh, is that, is that Jack King again? He's lost it, he's got no front wing again. He's just come out of the pits. And and Ramon uh, now makes his way out of the pit lane. And he will come out in... Hopefully, he hopes to get out ahead of Cornish Mantis. Let's see. And does he? Oh, this is going to be close. He Just. Does. That's a good pit. That's a good pit. He does, and he stays ahead. And he's trying to warm up these tyres when he can. They're going to be very cold. He needs to be very careful. There's one Camping slight ducks. dip on the kerb around here, and it could be all over. He's taking it very carefully. You can see the confidence levels between the drivers who have got warm tyres. He is warming them up down the straight as well. <laughs> He probably won't. Jamie James is still P6. He wow. is, but he's got an 8 second time penalty. And he will have a penalty coming his way for that reset to track as well. He will. So no matter what, he will have a penalty tonight. No matter whether he gets rid of his penalties somehow, he will somehow, somewhere or another, have a penalty. But already, Remond's pulled 6.5 tenths on the Alpha Atari behind, who is being pressured nonetheless by Jamie James, and this is a nice Camping camera angle to watch it from. Camping Ducks is all over the back of Vamu at the moment. 
And here goes Jamie James on Cornish Mantis now. He's close to the rear wheel, rear left wheel of Mantis. Will he make the move down into the final corner? No. Not close enough. Vamu has overtaken Camping Ducks now. This is Camping Ducks' race to win. It is. And can it's Ramon, also Vamu's to lose. Can Ramon get out ahead of Terra? He can. That's the perfect undercut, and Perra's lost oh, out now. Oh, he's going to be oh, fighting. Side by side, let's watch side angle here. Perra's going to have to dive to the inside. Mantis he does have, have the cold to give tires. There's a yellow flag, and it's Luke Prentice. Oh, oh Prentice, could that be a safety car? Let's have a look. Jack Prentice is the next one. I think that is. And it is. It's a full safety car. First safety wow. car of the night. And oh, now, if Perra just stayed out for one more lap. Camping Ducks is in a very good situation. Camping Ducks and Mantis. Camping Ducks now can go on to the medium tyres and last Make 10 laps. The end. Easy. Without losing a ridiculous amount of places. He he will lose around... He will drop to about P10, I would think. Under safety car. The, but I don't know. The good thing is... Pit stops around no here one's are been about... Lapped. Yeah, no one's been that. Pit stops around here are about 22.5 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're a bit less than that, actually. They might be a bit less. They might, they're might quite... So he might come out in some way or another a good place. What he's going to do is going to get really close to Vamu. He's going to dive into the pits, not caring about Delta. Here he goes he now. Needs to get His Delta will be definitely negative. Weight. And he comes in, as we thought. And he's got a five-second penalty for speeding in the no. pit lane. No. Oh. That is nightmare fuel for the Ferrari. Where exactly what he didn't want. And he will come out. A lot of people pitting. Jamie James pitting. I'm going to guess fresh medium. Electric Blades is probably going to get out ahead of the Ferrari. Yes, he will. Not Just. by much. Ooh, that's going to hurt him a little bit because Electric Blade is only on 10% wear. Whereas Camping Ducks now, he's on the faster tyre than anyone ahead of him. I'll show tyres as well. So we've got the top four on the hard compound. Camping Ducks and Mantis on the mediums. Rosa on the hards. The next five Ooh. from 8th to 12th on the softs. And now will they be able to last about eight laps when we go green again? Uh, they will. Note, if there's any Liverpool fans, uh, Fabio Carvalho scored in the 98th minute. You jammy. <laughs> Beep. He's. <sighs> soft runners looking good. People could have gone onto the soft side because I can't see this safety car coming are. in. No, they've got to wait for Jack King to catch all the way back up. Jack King now. Or is he stuck? He is, is he? stuck. He is in behind oh, Vamu, no. ahead of Remon. Now, so this that safety is car. unfortunate. This safety car will be out. We're waiting for Jay Prentice then. We're talking another lap or two. So, for the people that went on the softs, Profodes, Jammy James, Charlie, Mata, Lopez. Keltos, Wag, Cornish, Cook, and Jack King, obviously not in the question. But at the minute, Cook, Kelster, Lopez, Charlie, Jammy, and Rafodes are looking promising. We have Remon and Vamu, who I think arguably will pull away at the start. Camping Ducks will be all over the back of Electric Blades, but with his five second time penalty, he will be angry. It will be interesting. The, the guys on the sauce need to get their move done quickly because their sauce will go off very quickly. I think Camping Ducks is still in a very good position here on those mediums. But he does have that penalty. Which is the only Hilly says one. we'll go racing at the end of this lap. I can't see it. Personally. Lap 18? Was that 16? 18. 18. Oh no, two laps. No, he think he means. Do you mean we'll go racing at the end of this lap or end of lap eighteen? We'll see what his response There's no way is. we go racing at the end of this lap. And no, you never know. Actually, Jack Prentice isn't that far it back. Might be. But depends by what the he time wants to he do. catches up, he's got the whole pit straight. 
and then the weedy corners to manoeuvre through. Mm. Before... Depends how quickly the safety car wants to get on with it. And is Jack King still 18. stuck? He is. And he says, yeah. lap 18, uh, yeah, I agree. I had that, I, I was stuck in the train. Yeah, you I don't like the thing of overtaking the um, safety car and unlapping yourself. It's fuming about that. Obviously, I think Jack King will ghost on the restart. I'm not sure. He should. He should. But this has put Remonscape out another car's width away from Vamu than he would have liked. Mm. Yeah, we will not go racing at the end of this lap. Jack King um, still in the mix. He's not had the most smooth first three races, has he? No, it's been quite a trial by fire. Whilst there's a safety car, um, what what are your thoughts on Zandvoort next week? I personally am not looking forward to it. Okay. But it's a good track, I think. Smooth I personally quite like right. Zandvoort. I think, I think it's a very Marmite track. It's a very much track if you start on pole and keep it clean, you may have won. Mm. If you get through that first corner and can get away. Because there is that a cut. There... Pit and Jamie James pitting. Hmm. Why is Jamie James Why is pitting? Jamie... He's got two lap old soft, so is he going to recycle some old ones? No, he's gone to mediums. That's interesting That's now. A strange one. Why has he done that? So we have hard, 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 medium, medium. Then down to 11th, we have soft, medium, soft, medium, soft, soft. That's going to be surely too many places for Jamie James to make up in seven laps. Jack Prentice still hasn't caught up. No, he will catch up very quickly. Though. He will. I think he is taking his time to the max. So it should get underway at the end of this lap. Yeah. People on soft now, they've done two laps driving under this safety car, so... No. Jammy... Had he said Jammy's put on his old softs? Ah, maybe that was the reason. He pisses. But he is on his mediums now, so what can he do with them? They weren't that, they were fairly young compared so to some of the other Vamu guys. and Remon have four lap old hards, five when we cross the line. And they are they... They're, they're currently sat at about 9-10% wear. Vamu's got 9-9-9-10, Remon's got 11-11-12-12. So... I don't think tyre wear is going to be the issue for that. I think it's trying to get the, the heat into them. It's, it's weird the though, because Dux has got 10% wear on all four tyres, whereas Mantis has got 5% wear, and they've got the same mm. age tyres. Someone's been looking after them a bit there, it looks like. It does. Mantis has an advantage, and I think the safety car switched its hazard lights off, and we are going racing go. this lap. When will... Bamu, take the dart. Not yet. I'll go on board. And that He's is gone. horrible for Remon. It is an absolute nightmare. Because he is now stuck even further back. He could have been in Jack King's spot. Oh, the McLaren sandwich. Oh, no. Oh, no. And that is disaster. Free wide into that corner was never going to work. It wasn't. That was a McLaren sandwich. Rack had nowhere to go. And has Rack got nice damage? The Cornish. Yes. He does. Minimal though. So does Cornish. Oh no, Rack doesn't have damage. Rack Cornish doesn't. does. What, what Manta saw? Uh, oh. Oh, oh, and Jamie James got sent wing damage. Jamie James Rosa. lost his front wing. Rosa. Oh no, wait, it's saying Rosa. No, Jamie James. Oh, wow. Jamie James. Jamie James. Oh, and Rack's got rear wing damage. That'll be Rack's. Oh, Rack's got no front wing either. 
Oh no. And Jack King has lost his front wing as well. Jack King's got no rear wing apparently. Oh no, oh no, Jack is... And there is a full spinning. safety car again, I think. No, no, no it's VSE, VSE, VSE. Okay. It's because Jack cannot control his car whatsoever. He's got no front wing, no rear wing. That is... Oh, he's got to be careful. He's going to lose it again. Yeah, what's he doing? He needs to take it slow and just retire into the pits. Just take it nice and slow. Get ready for this next corner and he's out. There we go. Oh, he's... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy. You need to... Come on. No right, front wing. Caress, caress it. Just gently on the throttle. No, just short it's shift. Short wing shift to gear him. eight. Go around every corner in gear eight and just get he's into He's taking this well too fast. He's going to spin it. Oh, he's going straight into that wall. Ooh. There he goes again. Oh, good catch. This is... uh. This is more insane than the whole race, this is. Uh, Rax I think retired and... Rax... Where is he retired? Uh, he had the pit, a rear man. wing damage. Tell me James has also retired, but that isn't... He's just deployed the full safety... It's all full safety cars out. Yeah, it is. Where has Rack pitted? Where has Rack retired? Oh, I've retired, sorry. And Jammy... Jammy James is DNF'd in the pits. What? Yeah. Oh. But his cars... Um... I can see his car on the minimap. That might be... Oh, that does not help some people. And this Jack is... King should retire in the pits. Sorry about that, Jack King. He... Is he? Is he still? No, out? Jack, stop. Don't do this to yourself. You've got no rear wing. Oh, my days. What's he... Oh, my God. He's going to cause another... He has a hundred percent rear wing damage. He should not be staying here right now. He is Anybody going. Anybody wants to pit. Lopez does pit. Kelso Swag pits. Jay Prentice pits. Vamu and Remon have stayed out. They are staying for track position. With when the when the safety car crosses the line, I can only see there being two laps of racing. I'm going to go on board with Jack King and see how he is managing to weave his way around this circuit with 100% wing damage. Jack doesn't want to sleep yet. <laughs> he doesn't. He is adamant that he'll get points out of this race. And if he does, I'm inviting him to this party and congratulating him. I will... Never speak about mine ever again. 100% rear wing damage. I'm saying he's going to be spinning turn one. Turn one or two, he's spinning. I can see front wing, wing damage turn one. I can see another safety car. He is straight away. Oh, he's tapped the wall. He is ridiculously far back. See, he has been lapped, so I don't know if they will care about him. He's on lap 19. The move is on lap 21. So he is yes, ridiculously so he's been far twice. Mm, Jamie James not doing well at all. No, he's, the last two not races wrong, have okay. been. It's fair to say, poor. He is very much a guy who can surprise you over one lap with his ridiculous pole time, six tenths up on anyone. But then the rate, the racecraft, it, he ha he is a brilliant driver, but it's just some things like, I don't know if he's too dangerous into corners, too don't, don't adamant know. that he will get a move. Uh, and Jack Kingspan. I, 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 what, what's going on? What's this man racing for now? Vamu's just about across the finish, start finish line to get onto lap 22, as Jack King is halfway through a lap 20. So, Sadly, Kitten, um, I think Vamu's going to win purely on the fact that Jack King will not retire. He will keep causing safety cars. Oh, he's going to. 
We need a Remon Masterclass. Oh my days. Remon nearly completely tags Vanu. We had a round turn three or four. Oh, and he's back again. Jack, you tried your best. Just let it be. We'll give you the props you deserve. Rosa spun as well under the safety Rosa's car. Rosa's got 41% damage. Four. That'll be him in. That will be the end of the other McLaren. He this has been a dark day to forget for the McLaren. McLarens. Although Cornish is still in this. He's on no penalties. One lap old softs. Do not count this man out Any, at the minute. Anything he can, can happen. He can get some points on the board here. Safety car should be in this lap. Lap 22. Let's go on board with Electric Blade. He's on 10 lap old hards. The thing is now though. Yes, there will be three laps of racing once we cross the line only. But the front four are on hards. The two behind are on mediums. And then the rest are all on soft compound tyres. The pre preferred softs are on 27%. They're the worst tyres apart from Rosas. The thing is with... We've got Kelster Swag and Cornish Cook. They are both on one lap old softs with no penalties. So, let me check the warnings we've got going on. We've got two for Mr. Cornish Mantis. Two for Kelster Swag. We've got six for J Prentice. We've got two for Rosa, but it doesn't matter. Jack King's got four. And Ramon and Just Para have got one. Same with Electric Blade and Camping Ducks. Although Camping Ducks pit. has a speed in pit lane, yes. We have one lap more under this safety car, so we'll get two laps of racing. Jack King is staying out uh, as he heads on to lap 22 now, as they've just entered lap 23. At least he hasn't given up. We we give it we give him all the props he deserves for that. Yeah. Thing is now with the front runners. Safety car has better hilly safety car has better pace than the Burn King, but still waiting for him. Front runners now, so you look at the wear. Mm. Vamu's got twenty percent wear. Ramon's got twenty five. Is... Perra's got twenty five and Electric Blades has got twenty eight to twenty four. So Camping Ducks has also got 25 on the mediums, but Mantis has got 50, 16. He's looking the best out of all of them. Cornish has got 23% on them softs, right? Kelster Swag has 8, and they are the same yeah. age. I, the move, all he needs to do is just get a good restart. If he can get the good restart, he should be fine. Although there is still that... Th I know it's not massive, but 3% wing damage is it plays on your mind a little bit it does when you know you've got wing damage you're more cautious and not that he does know not that he does know kitten saying vamu bat bottle job calling it now Ooh. is he gonna be wow. correct as now let's get that out of the way as we now head around the final corner when will this red bull dart And I think now once he finishes that weave, he's gone. And Remon is under pressure from Perra. And Perra's now being dived by Camping Ducks and Electric Blade. Let's go on board what with is... this. It's three wide. Camping Ducks has gone into P2. P3, but he's lost so many places. He's had oh to go wide God. and it's P9. Cornish Cook is out of the race. Remon is in P4. Lost two places on the start. Electric Blade into second. Vamu's pulled one and a half seconds now. As Remon is... Ramon's lost it. 
Remon has lost oh. it. And that is P11 for Remon now. And that is a horror start for the restart there. Vamu now looking comfortable. He can breathe a bit easier. 1.7, Electric Blades now. The man who has been kind of a... He, he's been a driver that's just kept himself out of trouble this race. He's stayed out of any danger. He's kept his nose clean. And he's had a good race. Profode's purple middle sector. He's up on the back of Mantis now. He's going to take the outside line. Let's see when Mantis are side by side as we head down towards the final corner. Cornish Mantis is going to break later. He's not giving it up. But, but he's looking for the Profodes switch back. will get the better run down to the final corner. He, DRS not enabled for the rest of the race now. But it pulls to the inside, does Profode, and he will get this move done. And, he, and now by the time we get to the corner, he's a full car length ahead, and Mantis has to yield. Let's go on board with the race leader, who seems to be comfortable in this race. 1.75 seconds splits him and P2. Electric Blades pretty comfortable as well in P2. Now when there's a yellow and it's and camping it dogs. Crash. And Jack King's lost it as well on the curb. And that is a disaster for Ferrari. P2 and 3 as they headed into turn 1. Jack Prent not Jack Prentice. Camping Dorks sat himself out oh. the out around the outside. Had to Perra's go wide. Got a good run. Perra does have a good run, but it won't be enough. Vamu now down towards the end of sector 2. What can he do? Oh, he rides the cab a little bit, a bit shaky, but now I think he can breathe. The tough corners have gone. He's just got the final oh. corner to manoeuvre. As Perra it's, is going to go on the it's outside, a sprint. it's uh, it's going to make he's going to make the lunge. He, Electric Blaze has to. Who's going to get oh this P2? And it's going to be it's going to be Perra. It's going to be Perra. Oh my God! Perra has took P2 wow. down the final straight. Valtteri Bottas versus Esteban Ocon style. Profodes takes fastest lap, and it's disaster for Ferrari. As Remon takes Jack Prentice on penalties. So to finish him P9, but it's not. He will not be happy about that. He will not be happy about that. And that is race over. Vamu takes victory around the Jeddah Corniche circuit. Driver of the day. Un undeniable. Undeniable. Yeah, it's a disaster day for Ferrari. P2 and 3 after the restart. P9 and DNF two laps later. get these lads into the party then What is Vamu's um 
what is it exactly though? V A M V A M O O N I. Most stops of the day, you go into Cornish Cook, six stops alongside Jack Prentice. I'm still just stuck on this screen. Yeah. 